Hello, my returning viewers as well as newcomers. But, 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 but. We're doing a read. We're using my dark mirror. Weird ass cards. But I actually kind of dig these. I hope y'all are doing good tonight. I've got some personals I'm going to do. So if any of you are still waiting, be on the lookout, of course. Today has been a very strange day. Um, you ever run into somebody who, um, how the fuck do I put this without coming off as a complete asshole? Um, they exceed your expectations. Um, in ways you don't imagine. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I have a very strange set of people I am trying to uh, learn and some of them are just interesting as hell. Anyway, I don't know. Let's see who we're reading for today. These cards are going to make it, I think, much more interesting to pick up on different fact because I always feel like I'm reading for the same motherfucker. Let's see. Addicted. Ooh. I'm addicted to love. That's the song I heard in my head. Let's see. Where is the book? It's over here. Number 11. Oh god, that number. Don't mind me. One is a, a very significant number to me because it's my birthday. Especially that. It's a colorless angel. That was last night. Okay, addicted. I actually haven't gotten this one yet either. Okay, moon phase is the waxing crescent. And this stage is depression, much like the stages of grief or the stages of death. You know, there's a uh, denial, anger, sadness or grief, or uh, bargaining comes in, I think, before um, the anger, but I'm not sure. And then there's finally acceptance. So this is the stage of depression. It's not about choosing the chains. It's about choosing them again and again. Visual seed. White sparkly hair over a scarred, melted, cast down face. Is the hand melting or already long gone? A chain chokes his neck, and many spikes pierce the back. This song is weird. Okay, there we go. That's better. Sentence. Freedom was the worst of lies. I could have been a slave or a slave, but I chose the latter. Ew. I could have been a slaver or a slave, but I chose the latter. Hmm. I want... Okay. Like, the freedom of the... Yeah, is the worst of all. Yeah, right? I don't know, the freedom was the worst of lies. That's a really interesting thing to put out there. Okay. Addiction to something. Oh, going dark. Sorry. Addiction to something. Going dark. Or, why did I... Oh, because I said it before. Okay. Sorry. One more time. Going dark. Addiction to something. To drugs. To love. To company. To evil. To pain. To safety. To making simple everything that can be deep. Oh, we have in common the feeling of being lost if we ever are without it. Freedom is not a friend as it promises responsibility, failure, challenges. Freedom can be taken, can be broken, can be stripped naked and whipped and abused. Slavery is much cleaner choice. If you give it all away at the beginning, how can they take it away from you? So, how can it be that it's so easy to believe that freedom is an illusion, and it's so hard to feel that slavery is an illusion as well? That the sky has a limit, but the chains have one as well? The irony of it all, when we, lo when we lose the desire, much before losing the will to fight, is that actually it is that it actually is possible to reach for the sky even when you're bound by chains. That's the queerest energy. So they're dealing with some sort of addiction. 
Mmm. Heavy. So, everybody, return visitors and newcomers. This could be you. This could be the person you're dealing with, right? If it don't resonate with you, don't worry about it, right? If something sounds like it's off, put it in its appropriate place. I'm just reading what's coming out in this story. Either significant parts, significant steps, significant portions, significant memories. It's all up to you to figure out where they all go, right? Right. So let's see what's up with this particular clearance. We got nine of cups making a wish. And the strength card. I feel like they're holding out for something or they're trying to combat something. Their thoughts and feelings. Three of wands. If, they can, if I could talk today. Thank you. If they could, should continue on feeding into this or if they should sever the ties. The root of this thought and feeling though is that they haven't gotten some sort of message or they're waiting on something so they can make a move, right? What's coming up for them? Two of Cups reverse. They might separate from something or somebody. The Ace of Cups, probably because there's no love there, no apologies. For being in controlling, ruling, basta. Mm. Yes, this this uh, Oracle deck fits very nice, I have to say. You ever got this for me? Thank you. It just totally matches up with how I like kind of get it, you know? It's different. Anyway, so this Nine of Cups right here. Somebody made a wish. This parent made a wish um, to wait on something that bears nothing. That does nothing. It, 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 like there's the sun and there's dirt. And then there's them with two regular ones and one that's glowing like they are in a some sort of anime and it is some ancient technologically advanced stick that just does, I don't know, like Kamehameha's and shit whatever you want to suggest it does but that's what it is and they got the three of wands over here as well they're connected to this but it doesn't do a damn thing for them yeah there's that addiction that yeah all of this waiting for whatever it is they were expecting to come out of this which you know they can see that it's nothing no they're just staring at it dirt and sun and all losing their night vision from it and then at night they literally don't have eyeballs anymore because they kept staring at the damn sun um chasing something in the dark that like left them almost like a junkie and the lack of actions caused nothing but disaster mm, that's the eight of wands reverse too which is exactly what um is the root of their thoughts are about all of this their thoughts and feelings this Lack of action caused something to happen, and now they're like looking at this like, huh, I haven't heard anything yet. I wonder what's going on. Maybe it's, I'm at that point where I should separate myself from this, you know? Strength reverse, or not reverse, it's not reverse at all. Um, Theo's card. Someone is like battling with this beast. That might be the addiction that they're fighting or whatever, right? They can see what kind of harm that's done to themselves, you know? But they still don't feel like doing anything. They, they haven't taken any action. Or maybe they're recognizing that. And I think they want a reason to stick around with it, too. Or maybe they're worried there's hardly anywhere to go where they can find a place to find some sort of love proposal. Or somebody to, um, take them in, I guess, because they are on that boat, right? It's, it's, it's not a very bright or broad view, you know? 
It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like they were a slave to it. They just kept feeding it in. And it fulfilled wishes for sure. Or maybe people were bringing it around them. That pants keep sliding off of me and it's ridiculous. Ugh. Anyway. Um, they had to look inside and see into their soul, potentially, what was that they left behind after taking so little with them, you know? It's like, okay. It was almost like they spent their time acting like a servant to somebody or something. And that's because it made them feel like at home or at peace or whatever. Even though it was like, you know, they could have been home with their family instead of feeding this dude in the chair, you know. Or maybe they were the dude in the chair getting this treatment when they could have been home with the family, you know. Like this dude over here looks like he's bored waiting. Just being like, when are we gonna eat? <laughs> Let's sing another campfire song. No, Emma, I'm I'm good. Like, when's Dad coming back? <laughs> that bastard. You know, like one of those things, right? Down below with the strength card. Mm, I feel like they're not listening to the right people. The little black kitty saying something that um is just. And causing her a lot of agitation, like she and the Emperor are both facing each other, kind of, too. And it, it just makes her feel like is she's more pissed at this fish than what she should be. It's just like, ugh, I can't believe they would, like, think that about a fish or whatever. Right? But it's like, I don't know, it's weird. Like, I would almost think it's drugs just because of the words addiction or addicted, but I don't feel like that's the um, actual issue. I feel like it's more like the people this person's dealt with that are more of the addiction and how they have dealt with the situation with how they feel about stuff more than it would be like a drug. I mean, if drugs are involved, that makes sense, but it's like... It's, it, it's like, why are you listening to random people and then getting in their feelings about shit? Like, maybe people are telling them the wrong things that are making them feel like, you know, what's the point? All I have is a fish, you know? It's like, hmm. Or maybe there are just things that they've heard over time that's made this fish a, a little bit significant to where, like, they hang on to it, but it, it it's starting to smell, and it's bothering them, but they're not doing anything about it. So it's kind of like, why are you carrying around a dead fish? And then they get all offensive and they're just like, mind your business, Bobby. And, you know, don't want to talk about it. But it's a, a real issue here that they should talk about this, you know. Like, I feel like there's a family that they're that they should be interacting with, but they're not really. Let's see. Thoughts and feelings, the three of wands. Contemplating if they should hang on to this waiting or sever ties and stop waiting for so long. Yeah, they are definitely looking into the shit with the hermit, right? Because they're pretty confused about what it is that they should do, I feel like. But they, uh, but you know, they, 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 they'll run their mouth about shit. Okay, so that's their. Mm. They don't like talking about anything. Like this is almost impulsive too. It's like they're not sure what to think, so they don't have anything kind or um, very well to express that. I feel like. I feel like. 
I feel like their confusion causes them like to say a lot of things out in an outburst as a reaction more than it is actually something meaningful. Like that, like this could be somebody who just snaps because they don't know what to put on their hot dog, you know. But they're trying to go inside with that to figure out like, or this could be a person that they might have been dealing with as well, this querent, who they don't understand very well or grasp why they went off the way that they did. It could be either or, really. Down here with the Eight of Wands. Oh, I got a book. Hold on. It's reversed, right? People are kind of left in the dark about what this is, or someone's like really confused about what choice to try to make. These guys are sticking like super bad tonight. I wonder why. They never do that. Like, they've never done that, actually. Hmm. Uh, you know, there's somebody who's trying to be a good boy, get pats on the head, you know? Uh, Ten of Pentacles, this old man and his dog just, like, chilling or relaxing. There's a chick over here who's just, like, happy because, like, she's got a garden she just paid for and there's money left over with the Nine of Pentacles. However, some judgment was passed on somebody who couldn't get away to a different place. Because they couldn't figure out where they wanted to go. Uh, someone might have stood in their truth or came for the truth. The King of Pentacles right here. He's standing in his armor. His hands on his sword. Not really in a position to like attack. But more in a position to like try to delegate or speak on something I feel like. You know? Particularly how someone didn't want to give up the Bettys. Either him or somebody else querent. Whoever you want it to be, you figure it out. These cards are really sticking to it. Like, they never stick. Ever. I guess it must be a harsh subject to speak on or something. Alright, so this Eight of Wands reverse. A message wasn't delivered. And mind you, something that wasn't delivered um, caused some crazy, crazy catastrophe up here. And it's like they're recognizing something. It's like an indulgence they're recognized, but... Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, this family's in the dark. They got a fireplace, but, they, but they're still in the dark. And this person's, like, in a lit room with a bunch of cups and shit. Eating off a plate that someone has to hold for him because he's too good to have a fucking table. You know? <laughs> it's like, I pay my servants well so they can act like my fucking furniture. Crazy mad lad, him. Okay. What's up with this Eight of Wands reverse? Someone was trying to get away from disaster and that did not happen. It didn't escape in time. It's because they were all indecisive and shit. They were in their feelings about it. It's like they didn't want to turn around to actually make the choice. And they didn't have the strength that they thought they did. They bit off more than they can chew. It was like Fenrir bit off Tyr's hand once again. Did not work in their favor, unfortunately. Someone a rat? I don't know why. I just got that. It's like rat. Is that who that, like, Page of Wands is supposed to be? Like, I see the Queen of Wands and that's why she's pissed off or something? Like, some influence with the Queen of Wands and then someone, like, lets the Queen of Cups know and now she's all sorry. I don't know. I just came out of nowhere. So there, that could be a possibility for anybody out there. Um, Someone could have been a rat about something, too. And it got back to somebody. So that's a possibility in the story as well. Um, this King of Cubs has got to let his cup empty. He's got to drop that feelings and shit. It's like, to my dead homies, you know, he's just letting it all out. Releasing it. This possible pairing right here. This choice. 
Yeah, he might have to give some. He might have to let his emotions go and like release something for sure. Um, pick one over the other, or make a connection of some sort. That's going to be like really strong, you know, with the lovers. Um, hmm. I feel like the Queen of Wands, if she's the same as this page, heard something. And it just turned her. And the King of Cups is releasing this whole, like, lover scenario. Giving shit up or whatnot. I feel like there's something with the Queen of Wands here, because, like, the Page of Wands, there's a lack of clarity on, like, his shit, or whatever, or why he's going off, and if they're the same person, it might be because somebody might influence her to feel like, ew, what the fuck, you know? Like, have a really nasty reaction to shit. Okay. Eight of Wands down here. Someone got drunk and fell off the horse and dropped the rest of the wine, so they went to get some muddy water. Someone just screwed it up. Straight up. Like, it indulged too much with, into themselves. Then with the delivery, I feel like. And here's the King of Wands crushing something weaker than him. It could be the Leo right here, too. Mm. I have, what the fuck? Okay, one more on that one because I'm curious. become an asshole. Actually, this is the Emperor, too. He might be the same person. He can crush things, and he can hurt things. And he hurts things. Mm. It's like someone totally loses control, almost. And does, like, mean things to get control? Okay. Anyway. Two cups reverse. There might have been a, uh, Separation, a breakup, you know, someone feels abandoned like a child and they're making a wish, possibly to start something that business-wise it isn't going to work out the way they think it will, the fact it didn't invest in well at all. Whatever they wanted to invest in, it was into some world that they wanted to create for themselves. And it didn't it didn't pan out. Like if they were trying to make a business, it definitely did not work the way they thought it would, I feel like. They still got all the emotions there from the separation. Because it might have actually been a relationship where um there was some sort of money or fundage involved. You know, like, maybe it was somebody who they were connected with on a financial thing. Maybe they got, like, you know, disowned. Maybe they got cut off. And that just ruined their world in this essence. It might have been something to do with their childhood. Okay. Ace of Cups. Okay, so this person's kind of like... Well, the Ace of Cups is reversed. There, no apologies, no love found person's kind of out on the streets just out in the cold so they're trying to create something right they're trying to manifest something um something that they don't have to fight for hmm I'm not sure how I feel about that, because it's like...
Hmm. It's almost like them refusing to... Like, it's not like they wouldn't refuse to try to come back in, but it's kind of like... The way things went down, it kind of like... They set it up with a magician to not be able to fight for this or whatever. It's like... Because they're out in the cold, they're creating this environment where they can't run back and like... Either avoid, find thing, find ways to strategize, argue, um, yell, scream, bring up art, bring up discussions. Like they're not trying to go in with a fever of fighting for anything at all. Kind of like what the card says over here, right? Okay, this emperor reverse. He's here again. Let's see what's up with him. He's actually crushing his pet now. His pet was at his feet, and this dude was grumbly, but now he is like crushing his pet. All of his dreams are just oceans and oceans away. He's completely insecure with what's going to happen with all his stuff, I guess, or some shit. All his stuff. Huh. But he thinks he's in control of everything. He thinks he's the prince, or the mayor, the evil mayor of the town, or whatever person wears that kind of outfit. I honestly don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know if he's a mayor. I don't know if he's like a senator or some shit. I don't know if he's an artist. I do know he's kind of a control freak. Uh, especially when it comes to somebody from the past, apparently. Anyway. Let's see. Two of Cups Reverse. Well, first of all, we got a book. Someone's fighting off a lizard monster the hard way. <laughs> they don't have, like, bug spray. They gotta actually fight it with swords, and it's creepy as shit. It comes in their sleep. The Nine of Swords right here. While this person is sleeping with all this shit in their brain, someone actually wants to come by and visit them. You know, um be the savior that they need a little bit, you know, like, help them out if they need to. Um, they might fuck up the, that, the, their intentions a little bit, and someone might have to drive another person away. And this, once again, manifests a scenario where a door is closed and people just leave. So, uh, take that into some consideration, Querent, right? Alright. Let's see, two cups reversed up top. Ah, oh, temptation with the devil. That allure. Possibly a lot of sexual appetite with an earth sign. Ooh, could be Capricorn. But, um. Mmm. I feel like this dude's a user with um, when it comes to funds. I think this, that's the problem. Like, it's tempting to come back, but if these two people, I think, were to come together, it'd be based more on like an addiction to each other, and uh, and part of that addiction has to do with like what one would do with the money. The money would be tarnished, I feel like, or whatever this King of Pentacles provides would be a little bit tarnished by this bison, and the bison doesn't know that it's, like, being used in that way. Like, it's dumb. I don't think the bison is dumb. Yeah. It's like a third-party situation that led to a breakup. Alright, Ace of Cups. 
great. Someone wants to let all this shit go. It's a burden. This one will go sleep. Or at least just take a break or take a nap or whatever, right? But they don't know where to get a bed at because, like, they don't know how to work a phone. They're kind of lost in the sauce. They don't know where to go before they start um, charging ahead. Which is possibly making them a little bit hostile. Alright, down below is this Emperor Reverse. Last two cards. Or more. It is more. I'll, yeah, you know, I'm fucking a label. Okay. So then they got Miss Helga here uh, passing by. Like, the, the person who was left out in the cold is just sitting there looking at her. I feel like this is them, because they're, because, like, you know, the dude up here was sitting right underneath the window. So is this person right here with her dude. They're sitting there and they're watching this one Helga chick carrying all of her heavy shit around with her. And it's kind of like, you know, why can't I do that? Well, that's because they won't bury the shit the way that they should. They're too hard-headed to go past anything else that they think and believe that isn't already established in their own brain. And they will attack anybody who tries to um, interfere, I feel like. Mm. I feel like they watch other people get out of these scenarios with a lot of baggage. And it's kind of like, no, I don't want to do that. That's like way too much. It's almost like way too much work. But so is riding a horse and stabbing somebody with a sword on that horse. Especially when they got armor. Do you know how hard it is to try to pierce some armor? I don't care how sharp your sword is. You know, it's not going to go through everything. Like, it'll cause a lot of damage when it hits somebody. Sure. But it, it won't necessarily always kill them, but it's like, you know. Ugh. Like, even the horse is looking back at this like, Bruh, what? <laughs> like, you already knocked him down. Like, the horse is even surprised by this dude's, um, behavior. Ah, uh, okay. That's the end of the reading, y'all. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I will see you later. I'm gonna go like, I guess, fold laundry and then whatever else it is I do in my house. Love your faces, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.